Hi there and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Today we're going to look at my uh, 3D printer rotational axis pulley and the bearing. So we're going to go through some CAD, CAM, uh, look at my laser cutter and uh, the assembly. So here we are, this is the um, Fusion uh, CAD and um, if you've seen my other video I go through how I create the tooth profile. Um, so have a look at that if you want to uh, see some more. Uh, but basically, yeah, so we've got that tooth pro profile in there. And we've got the bearing um, and just basically some geometry. So I've uh, put in the shape of the piece. So I'm making these up in little segments because that was what will fit in my laser cutter. Uh, so uh, we're just trying to get this all set up and now you can see I've patterned the teeth through and I've created the teeth into a single piece that I'm going to use for cutting um, and this seems to be a, a good way to get all the geometry sorted out for the pulley and then I'll cut the teeth afterwards so that goes in like that and then uh, as we go on I've uh, now got some sketches in so I've put a sketch in for the um, uh, stock material for that I'm going to cut out of. Uh, so there you go, we've pushed up the actual profile and these little lugs I've got um, there are actually, uh, I've got a, a small param parameter in there that allows me to offset the lugs from a nominal dimension and that gives me my clearance so that there'll be a push fit. So I've combined those two, so the, the tool for cutting the teeth and that segment is now combined and that creates that part. I then have some other parts, so I, I need to make the stock, so there's a, a, a body for the stock, and then there's a body for the um, piece that ties in the, uh, the tooth segments to the pulley. And there you go, so it's, uh, that's the full um, ring of pieces, and we'll see that in a bit when we do the assembly. Uh, so we now quickly look at the cam. So I've selected the uh, stock uh, body and put the reference at the bottom left hand corner and that's where that my laser reference is from. And then if we go in and just have a quick look, so if we edit this and um, uh, yeah, so I'd locked it. So you can lock um, the uh, toolpaths in Fusion so they don't have to regenerate every time you open them. Um, so if you go in here, you can see I've got a tool and I've got a 0.6 mil curve uh, on the laser. And I've basically just uh, selected the, um, the uh, lines that I want to cut to. Uh, my laser is, I've got a Marlin based controller in there, so a 3D printer based controller and I've not turned the Z off so I need to keep all the retract and heights and everything at the same zero level. Uh, also the tolerance I had to wind back to 0.001 I think it is just to um, get that all to a cut nice and tight to the lines. And then the only other thing that I've done is I've um, got a entry point um, so I wanted the entry to come in away from the teeth, so I selected the point at the back corner there, uh, just to tidy up the cutting. Um, so yeah, um, so we've got that tool path, that's the main profile tooth tool path, and you'll see that cut on the laser in a minute. And then there are the other tool paths which just go through and cut, uh, and cut the holes. So this is my laser. I've got it in a drawer and you can just see the pipes running off to the cooler on the right and the um, can on the left is a carbon filter to try and take some of the smell out from the laser. As you can see there's the uh, Marlin based uh, 3D printer controller on there that's got a, a laser um, flavour to it so I've just homed the laser and then uh, we're going to stick in the stock so just open it up. I've been using, I've got some metal mesh for the cutting bed and I use magnets as my uh, spacers and that seems to work quite well. So that set up there means that the bottom left hand corner of that piece of perspex is uh, at zero zero. Uh, and obviously the home offsets the zero to that location. So now we're just going to set the laser off. This is uh, four times speed 
So uh, as you can see, the uh, laser uh, cuts relatively slowly, um, and I only cut one part out at a time. Uh, that's because the uh, tube seems to get warm and the power drops off if I cut more than one at a time. So uh, even with my new cooling solution, it's not quite perfect. So uh, that just goes through, and you can see it cutting all the teeth there. And then when we get through and finish cutting the teeth, it will just um, cut the holes, which are reference points for, uh, well, to be able to bolt it together, but also to be able to just um, make sure all the pieces align properly. Um, I'm not quite qu got the holes cutting properly at the moment, and um, I'm not quite sure whether there's some tolerance or something that I'm missing to make that work. But as you can see, it just cuts the piece out and uh, a nice clean cut. Um, I could probably cut a little bit faster and it would uh, still cut through but I just slowed it down a bit. And that's it and the laser you just um, yeah well I tend to leave it running for a bit just for cooling just to cool the tube down properly and, uh, and my laser just is stored in that drawer out of the way. Uh, now we're on to the assembly, so as you can see I've not had a lot of waste, so I cut this out of uh, A4 acrylic and there's not much waste at all, um, which is nice, and the parts all come out cleanly. So these parts are uh, just three spares that I had, and I'll show you the assembly in a minute. Um, so they, uh, they just uh, push fit together, so if we take these other ones out of the, the waste and um, yeah that's that last one and uh, I've got a few different ways that I'm gonna I'm thinking about assembling them obviously they, they clip together um, so as you can see there's a nice snug fit I use these plastic jaw pliers to push them together and um, yeah they're really good the offset I've used is point uh, point 0.15 millimeters, um, so that's a point 0.3 overall. But it's a really snug fit, as you can see, they hang hang together on their own. Uh, in a full ring, sometimes they'll pop apart, but um, yeah, that's good. And then the idea is is to use three layers of these uh, to build up. So the belts, I think the belt's six mil wide. It's a bit snug to run on two because these are three mil acrylic. Um, so I've gone for three, and the teeth line up nicely as long as you line the holes up. Uh, so there's some different ways I could orient them, and I'm not sure really which way to go, whether it's worth pushing one piece so the lugs are in the different direction, or just and just whether to stagger all them, or whether to align some of the joints. Uh, I don't know, so if anybody's got any thoughts on that, that'd be cool. Just uh, give me some feedback in the uh, comments below, it'd be great. Uh, it's always good to get other people's opinions on these sorts of things. So we've done that, so let's get the uh, assembly up. So, uh, oh, and um, this is the, these are the pieces that uh, are used to support the gear uh, from the central bearing. So the bearing I'm using is uh, basically a large um, bearing that you use for the tabletop um, uh, spinny things you put on the tabletop. Uh, it's a little tight because the um, the spaces that tie in the gear to the ring um, I need to just chamfer the edges slightly or just cut those internal edges um, a little bit shorter because uh, they're just just fouling slightly on the inner race of the bearing just uh, on these locations so it seems to be it'll be fine I just need to chamfer those with the ones I've already cut as you can see those pieces are cut from the uh, from the acrylic the same way as the others um, so you can see the stack up so you've got the uh, three layers of um, toothed acrylic and you've got the one uh, layer sandwich between the supports. I've only put the three sets in at the moment but they'll be solid all the way around eventually um, and they won't be, they're spaced at um, eighths all the way around just like the uh, teeth and all the spacing so I can mix and match and set up uh, to make that the way it is. So there you go. Um, 
So if you do like my stuff, um, you know, it's great that uh, you guys are supporting me. Uh, so please do subscribe. Um, it really does make a difference. Uh, as does liking the videos. That helps other people find my stuff, which is really important. And uh, if you need to or would like to find out about my stuff, then hit that notification bell. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you do like my stuff, please do subscribe to my channel. Perhaps have a look at my Patreon page. And uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, then have a look at some of these that are linked here. So thanks very much for your time. See you again next time. Cheers.